YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfellow, Goodfellow Neil coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion, man, with some kicks that y'all probably ain't too much see all like that before, but I'm bringing to y'all attention. Kind of disappointed with the colorway, man. Kind of disappointed. I was expecting it to be red, but the more they say here, the more I look at them, the, you know, that's the more orange they look, but like, on the pictures, man, they look red. They look vibrant red. I wanted them to be vibrant red, but this orange will do. Not too many people reviewed this sneaker all like that. Um, they also got a black colorway and I think somewhat of a forest green colorway. Those look cool too, but I wanted something to actually pop. Uh, and I also got these for a deal too. Got these from Nice Kicks. This is my first time I ever ordering from Nice Kicks. Tried to get a nice tie-dye, nice, nice Kicks t-shirt, but they was out of stock with that joint. And the reason why I even bring that up is because it was added to car, it checked out and everything, but until they showed me that I had a, a refund for $20 or something like that, I was just like, damn, I actually wanted a little piece of sneaker boutique history. So hopefully they restock on that stuff though, guys. I actually missed out on uh, another little haul with them. I was just procrastinating in the cart, but with these, I actually just checked out instantly because I went to try these joints out. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get off into this. And uh, it is the Alexander Wang B-Ball Soccer. And regular price on these is $250. So I ended up getting mine for, like, around, like, $120. So, and I still forgot to use the code. But, uh, so at ShopNiceKicks.com, I got size 9.5. Now, this is the most plain box ever you know they try to be like real subtle with this stuff i don't know if you can see this too it's probably just too white but uh you got the adidas tray foil sign right there um and then you got that you know few with a little bit of branding right there then at the bottom if you ever if you got a printer at home and you do that uh that test uh ink printer um stuff that's what this looks like right here Anybody, all my tech guys or whatever, if y'all got printers or whatever, you never, you know, you run that test print just to see if all the inks work. This is what this looked like right here. So, okay. I'm going to just open the box. And basically, it's an Adidas box turned inside out. And, of course, uh, we got a... A card from Adidas. I'm gonna show the Dubrays later when I show the sneaker. Another thing too, we got a tote bag that came with it. Now, this bag actually looks more red than the sneaker lightway, but um, I guess it's somewhat orange. Now, just compared to put the sneaker up to it, but you got it in different. Uh, constructed by Adidas, Alexander Wayne International, International for reuse. And, uh, you know, you got it in various languages. Yeah. So, let's show the sneaker. And one of the things that I really like about this sneaker, though, guys, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. This is not red. I'm, I'm warning you now. This is not red. This is orange. Uh, uh, so, like, I was fooled. I know the camera played tricks on it. You know, I don't know if it was, you look at some of the pictures online, they look red like this but again when you see them they're gonna look like orange um now i will say it's more so it's not a complete orange exactly but uh it's more like of a red orange like colorway but some some different filters will have you think that this damn thing is like blood red uh varsity red damn near almost an infrared sometimes but okay so i already warned you guys enough i've been warned you guys for like the next damn 10 minutes but moving on First thing first, I'm just do a brief overview of this sneaker and give a you know just a quick review. Now I'm gonna give you guys my talk about this afterwards. Uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel, everything, everybody that's subscribed to this channel and you know liking and commenting, everything. You already know how I do things. If you're new here, definitely sit back and enjoy the ride. So with this right here, first thing first, even though we call them this b-ball soccer, you do got more of that soccer influence at the toe box right here. And you got more like those armadillo kind of like armadillo armadillo like toe box. Now I've worn these already, so I can give you guys a better review. Also around 
the the paneling right here you also got a slight leather this is the only piece of leather on the sneaker and if i'm not mistaken this unit right here this little uh blocking is more so like a tpu unit and this this basically keeps the foot in place while you are walking along now i wouldn't try to do any actual sports in this damn shoe but i did also take it for a power walk as well not the best power walking shoe and uh but one of the things I did enjoy while power walking in these was definitely the big cheesecake ultra boost bottom. This is one of the things that actually uh, attracted me to the shoe anyway. As soon as I seen it, I'm like, man, this just looked like a thick cheesecake block right here. You got like the graham cracker at the bottom. Don't worry, guys. My imagination just running away with me. But also, too, going to the side, to the inside of the tongue, you do have like uh, an, uh, a serial code like a uh, piece of paper on the inside. It looked like it's supposed to be on the ins. It's like if the sneakers reverse. It looked like something that you would actually find on the inside of the sneaker. It's actually on the outside up under the laces. Also what came with the laces is three on each, three Dubrays when I received this sneaker, three Dubrays were on each of the sneakers uh, and they all say different things. Uh, you know, you got the QC, you know, Alexander, Wayne, let me see one. Three of them are the same as the other one. You know, it's not like a different one for each one, all like that. And then we got the Wang right here. Wang, three stripes. Wang, three stripes, you know. So picture that on both of these, just on different sides. Again, three right here and three right here. It's a, it was a bit much for me. I can do without the Dubrays. Um, but looking at these as a whole, as far as like what the quality of the suede feels like, it's not necessarily cheap. Um, it's like a few, a notch or two below premium, but it's not bad, especially for the price that I paid for it, guys. Um, also going to the inside, you also got the white and blue. Um, so and so for the for the sole bed. Going to the back, we have the Alexander Wang. It looks like it says season 18. Alexander Wang on the back with Adidas. Also got the three stripes on the side, obviously. This is done in leather. Got the black rubber grip. Now, you can actually feel the difference with this when you are walking. Um, that's why I prefer to power walk in a, some of these like lower top like sneakers or more like runner based sneakers. I wouldn't dare try to power walk in a basketball sneaker because obviously that would be pressure on the ankles, arch and all that stuff because, you know, basketball sneakers is not for power walking. But these, I gave these a try. And the upper, the upper definitely felt light. But I believe if these was a leather upper, these might be a little bit more stiff if the leather wasn't like soft or broken in. But the fact that this is like a suede nuba, that also made this very easy to walk in. You also too have like a leather um, sock liner as well. I want to have size down in these sneakers. These isn't too much, you know, the sizing for these isn't too much all over the place the way typical Adidas sizing is. You know, I wear a size 10, then I go to a size nine and a half for a snug fit in most sneakers. But with Adidas, I usually go to a size nine to actually get a real snug fit with regular Adidas sneakers. But with these, you should be safe going true to size. I will say though, as far as like the fit go on this, there is narrowness inside the toe box for sure. Um, only reason why I got away with a narrow nine and a half is because I don't have a wide foot. If I would have had a wide foot, I would have either had to go true to size or half size up. So, um, I don't know, guys. You might want to, if you are a wide footer, you might want to go a half size up just to be safe. Because, again, this do get a little bit narrow up here. And also, with this being narrow right here, you can't do too much power walking in them. Not the fact that it causes pain, but this is something that you're going to have to get used to as you do wear this sneaker. I like the way the sneaker look, but I do believe it should have been a little bit more room at the top. Just a little crunched up right here. But, again, it's no pinching of the toe or anything like that, but at least for me. But if I would have had a wide foot, i have been in trouble wearing this stuff. Going to the bottom, you still do have like that cheesecake bottom, the boost right here and the rubber 
outsole right here or the rubber sole rather at the top of the forefoot you do got the alexander wayne with some of that traction right there to the back you also still have traction as well um as far as like everything else the tongue is leather the tongue is not nubuck neither so the only two leather pieces is this paneling right here and the leather tongue because i know earlier the only part i said had the leather paneling was this right here but the tongue is also leather but you also can see some of the construction it's a little bit deconstructed behind the tongue you see some of that red foam that black foam right here um you know that's that's a bit different and what's the last part i was about to mention to you guys uh oh also to the back I, they doing a lot of things in reverse on this sneaker. I noticed like a little bit upside down and reverse. We got the box on the inside out. The tray foil sign of the Adidas is upside down. Um, same thing with this right here. The Adidas logo right here is actually upside down if you didn't notice. Um, just so in case if you bought these, you know, you don't think you got some Fugagas. And then on the back, the Adidas is um written the correct way so it's basically like an upside down upside down inside out kind of like vibes that i get from this sneaker now uh the ultimate moment you guys probably have been waiting for what is the comfort like on a rated scale straight out the box now as far as the comfort now as far as the comfort going straight out of the box for this sneaker i would give it a out of 10 10 being the best like comfort like oh my gosh it's just like amazing now these sneakers did wow me. I do believe they possibly could have kept the boost going along the top, you know, to really, really increase the, the comfort on it. So it really feel like you're walking on lasagna or cheesecake. Um, but with this, I'll say straight out the box, comfort wise. I'll give it a eight. It was an eight. Most of it is because of the boost. Most of it's because of the boost. Now, if you're talking about fit, fit is one of the things that's going to be either hit or miss with some people. The slim foot guys might be okay, again, because, again, narrow at the toe box. Uh, so, eight for fit straight out the, I mean, so eight for comfort straight out the box. As far as, like, um, overall, what I think about the sneaker, including color, everything overall factor in. Color, everything I've just mentioned. The sneaker overall. I hate to do like just models overall or whatever like that because I believe colorways do tell stories on different sneakers and we should judge them as such and rate them as such. You know what I mean? Uh, so the rating on this would be different from the rating on the black version or the forest green version. Well, since these actually was a letdown as far as the color, if they would have been red, I definitely would have gave them a strong nine. But overall, guys, I mean, realistically, I mean, just because you spend your money on something, it's okay to be, you know, a little let down on certain things or, you know, I don't want to be this prima donna neither, but I, I got to keep it real. I got to keep it 1000 with y'all. You know what I mean? Um, I would say overall, I give these probably a, a eight, a eight. Um, and, and, you know, I usually buy things that I like. Uh, so as of right now of this recording, I give it an eight. Now we'll see how I feel about this sneaker towards the end of the year or as time goes on or whatever like that. Um, this is not the easiest sneaker to wear. You do got, the only reason why I'm saying that is because we got other sneakers that's, that came out that's a lot more and more comfortable to wear. Like the Aniki Boost, that's a little bit more, a little less structure. You're probably more reliable to roll your, roll your ankle in an Aniki Boost versus this. And, you know, this stops the rolling of the ankle. That's why they, they, they got these panelings right here to actually center the foot in the, in the sneaker like most sneakers do. But uh, it, this is one of the sneakers that in due time, we got to see what it really does. Uh, I really like the lightweight upper. The, the upper is, since it being like lightweight, it's a lot easier to walk in versus other sneakers. But um, I, I really like the slope, too. That's another thing, too. I like the slope. I like that, that low topness slope to it i think they also got an actual hot top version of this as well if i'm not mistaken but uh this one really attracted me and uh yeah that's basically it i know i keep saying uh but yeah just thinking man processing but overall though guys i give it an eight out of ten tell me what you guys think did you guys cop is it worth it you know uh you know is this would this be top ten of the year for me ah uh, 
this is one. This is a tryout sneaker. I'm gonna just say that for sure, because I never, I never rocked these before. You know what I mean? This is my first Alexander Wayne sneaker, really. This is supposed to be like a top high end fashion like sneaker too. So let's do keep that in mind, guys. It's not supposed to be technically an athletic sneaker. So this is supposed to be like a lifestyle sneaker to kind of stun in. But um, as far as like regular coasting around the mall or just general walking, you good to go with this. Power walking, not really the best. Trying to run in this, huh? Think again. But um, it's just not the best as far as like active wear. It, it, most of us not doing that active wear stuff right now. Anyway, I wouldn't try to work out in this sneaker neither. Uh, it's just too blocky, too chunky, and uh, just use it for what it's supposed to be good for. Uh, will I try to power walk in this again? Not really that much, but a general walk, this not too bad. So this is probably like a nice little kick it shoe. Would I wear this in the office? If I had, you know, if I had to be somewhere nine or five, da da da. But I've been there before, where the uh, casual, we we had to be casual, and the attire was not necessarily business suit, but you know, you could wear like some jeans and stuff, and maybe, you know, like a flannel or something. You know, I wouldn't, go, I couldn't really go in there with like a graphic T-shirt and ripped jeans, and like I'm dressed for like the mall or something, or like, you know, go kicking it at a party, but. This will actually do because this is actually more like low top if you guys are considering that. One of the things too, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the laces though. The lace tips does have a, uh, the small tray foil logo on it. You can't even really see that though. But uh, And you got the Al Alexander Wang on the lace tip. That's it. But I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of cottony throwback lace tip. Now, these look okay with the regular... Regular, regular color, orange, red, kind of like lace in it. But uh, something to make it pop, maybe a red or a white. It's just something I might, be, I might do a swap out on. But again, guys, not the biggest deal killer. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this might be a 10 for my top 10 of the year. I know I keep saying that, guys. I mean, you know, it's a lot of... <sighs> unless I get something that I've been wanting, you know, some previous heat or whatever. Or unless the sneaker just really grow on me and wow me. So... That's the end of this discussion and sneaker review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for everybody that's been subscribing and liking and all that stuff, guys. Peace.